Bob Moore from emailhomes.ca. So I was talking in my previous video about going to see homes during the crisis, and here's the way I see it. Um, real estate was labeled as an essential service, so that means real estate agents are still trying. However, in times like this, it's increasingly difficult. Properties are still being listed, but the rules, the new rules by our organizations are telling us that we can't do open houses, we can't do face-to-face -face showings, etc. So business is not as usual. What we're doing is virtual tours um, and doing other creative ways of showing the house to people and expecting them to buy them sight unseen. Now, uh, for those who aren't comfortable with that, Aria has also come up with some clauses. They've worked with the, the lawyers and everything and come up with clauses such as, you know, conditional on the buyers seeing the house before it firms up or whatever. Um, makes it extremely complicated. However, if there is a house that you really want to go see and are considering making an offer, then, you know, let, let's set that up. So what I'm willing to do is meet you at the house. Uh, I will first of all make sure that the seller is disinfected uh, in the way that we've been told that we have to tell them. I'll make sure that you have uh, looked after yourself and myself. I'll let you in the house, you can go have a look around, and then when you come out, I will go in and I will make sure that it meets our model there and you know make notes of all the things we need to know. And then we'll leave. When and if we make an offer, I will bring up all these clauses that we can talk about. Um, inspectors aren't going in, um, you know, things like that. But we can have financing and these new clauses which could extend for up to two months um, before they firm up. Um, the other way to do it is if you're not comfortable in coming down, which I think most of you will be, is I'm prepared to go into some of these houses in the way that I feel comfortable with and I'll do a WhatsApp uh, video for example and I can go in and walk around for four or five minutes talking to you on the application and we can talk back and forth and I can look at certain things that we know are important to our model and we can decide whether the house really does work for us basically you looking through my eyes I think that's probably the best way to do it and then if we make an offer we can make it a fairly firm offer uh, I'm not using some of these silly clauses that they're coming up with and the reason and I think that's important is because we will easily look better than the competition if they have those clauses. Uh, meaning we might get a better price. I don't know that for sure, but it's a possibility. We can certainly win all the bidding wars if we don't have these extended clauses where you have to come and see it. Um, and you have to have an incredible amount of confidence in me with that. Some of you who know me um, would probably be willing to do that, and I would certainly not put your investment at risk by doing something, you know, saying the house is good if it's not. Um, but that's a trust factor, and we have to talk about that. Uh, not through video, but one-on-one. -on -one. So if that's something you want to do, um, reach out to me. Um, you're seeing the listings. I'm showing them all the time. I haven't stopped that. If I see something especially good, I will send it out. I don't expect everybody to jump on it. In fact, I hope you don't. But if somebody does want to go, then we'll set it up and we'll make it happen. Meanwhile, I think in the near future, once this is over, we're going to see some desperate people, as I mentioned before. And we're going to see those people in higher... Uh, income markets, uh, backsplits, newer homes, 70s and 80s, maybe even in different cities, Burlington, Waterdown, where the number, the price of admission is going to be higher because those homes are worth more. But we might be able to turn those homes into duplexes and triplexes. Um, and we may not get a bargain price, but we're going to get access to these that we've never been able to have before. I think the cities are going to change the way they approve some of the things. So for example, Burlington is dead set against duplexing. That may change when people are looking for housing. So anyway, these are the things I think may happen in the future, and I think the opportunities are going to be better than they are now. So my advice at this point is to wait. But as I said, this video is about going in. If you want to see a house, get in touch with me. If you see one you like or if I send it.